Welcome back everyone to our third uh, video. Today we talk about leaking the stack canary. Uh, we saw in the previous uh, video that the canary protection is enabled by default in this kernel module. Actually nowadays uh, modern Linux systems uh, have uh, stack protection mechanisms uh, that prevent uh, buffer overflow uh, attacks. One of these key protection is the stack uh, canary. Uh, the canary, also known as the stack cookie, is a random value that it is placed at the beginning of the function and it checked at the end. If the value differs, uh, that means the stack has been corrupted. But what if we could read uh, this value? If we are able to read the canary, that means we can add it to our payload, tricking the system to think that nothing has changed on the stack and thus uh, bypassing uh, stack uh, canary or stack protection. This idea, this is exactly what we are going to do in this uh, video. So let's uh, dive in. To understand where the canary is stored on the stack, we need to examine the stack structure of the function uh, hack me right. So let's see how the first few instructions affect the, the stack. Uh, to do that, we need to go to uh, Ghidra. Let me bring Ghidra here. So this is the hack me write function. And remember, before calling hack me write function, the return address is uh, pushed on the stack first. Then hack me write function is called. And you see here in the function prolog, we see that RBB is pushed on the stack. Uh, uh, next, we see that R12 and RBX are pushed on the stack. Later, we see here that the stack pointer is decremented by hex 88, which is 136 uh, bytes. This is to make space for the local variables. In this case, we have eight bytes for the canary, and then we have 128 bytes for the right buffer. Why 128? Because 32 times 4 gives us 128. So this is uh, what happened to the stack uh, at the beginning uh, execution of this function. Maybe to make it uh, uh, easier, let's uh, go back to the presentation. I will show you, this is the, how the uh, stack looks like at the beginning. The return address is pushed, 8 byte. Then the RBB, the base pointer, and remember, the base pointer is the uh, base frame of the stack for the function uh, hack me write. After that, now, R12 and RBX both are pushed on the stack. Then we have this uh, uh, stack pointer decremented by 136. If we look in total, we have 168 bytes. So if we want to uh, write the uh, return address, and that's something we will do in the upcoming videos. So we need to write 168 bytes. Where is the canary? The canary is exactly after the right buffer. So we can say that means the canary is at offset 128 from the beginning of the right buffer. That's uh, this is important for us because, as I said, we need to leak it. So we need to know where to read uh, from uh, from the stack. Uh, there is another way also we can uh, calculate the location of a uh, right buffer. Let me go back to uh, Ghidra. So if I scroll to uh, Mimcobi here, so you see, you know, before calling a Mimcobi, usually uh, the parameter of a function are prepared in the registers. And that's what we see here. This register, uh, this instruction, load effective address would uh, load the offset RBB minus uh, 80, uh, 98, which is uh, one, 152 in bytes. This is the uh, location of um, write buffer, which is moved uh, using this uh, instruction load effective address. So if we go back here again, that's mean I could see here from RBB, from the base uh, of this frame, uh, the right buffer is at offset uh, hex 98 or 152 bytes. So this is also another way we can see where is the right buffer uh, 
in regard to the uh, base uh, base pointer. Uh, the next step is that it's time to interact with the uh, HackMe uh, model through the uh, device or the character device we already uh, saw in the previous video available on the device, which is the div uh, HackMe. So uh, to do that, okay, we are here. So I will provide a snippet of the exploit. So we will develop the exploit step by step. Uh, first one is in C, when we need to interact with the uh, character device, this is the div hack me. First thing we need to open this device for read and write. And that's what's this uh, function here. It's open the device. We have uh, global variables here. Uh, file descriptor and the device name. Then here it's simply we call the open uh, function. We provide it with the device name, the hack me, and we say we want it to uh, read and write. And then we have some error check here. So this is the first step. The next step is, as also we uh, saw in the previous videos, that uh, the hack me read function has a vulnerability that it doesn't check how much we can read from the stack. So now we will take advantage of this by reading uh, the canary from the stack. We know now that uh, the canary is located at uh, offset 128 from uh, the uh, write uh, buffer. So here in this function, I call it leak canary those uh, global variable, we have the buffer size, 160, the canary offset, as I said, 128, and then we have the file descriptor, which we got it from the previous uh, uh, function, and then here we have the canary. So uh, we declare a buffer of size 160, because this is char one byte, and then here we called read, and we say we want to read from the file descriptor, that means from the div hack me character device, and we need to store everything in the buffer. Uh, this is just check for error. And then this is the uh, interesting part here, the mem copy. Now we take the information in the buffer here, we add the canary offset 128. This value, we will store it in the canary. Uh, so at the end of this function, when this function returns, the global variable, the canary, has the value which is now uh, on the stack. So what that means now, in the, our next step, we will take this value, we will add it to our uh, payload. Uh, remember, we need to overwrite uh, the return address pointed to a function which allow us to uh, escalate our privilege and uh, get a shell on the device. And that's exactly what we will see in the upcoming video. But remember from here now, we will take now this canary value and we will use it later in our uh, payload. Uh, this is for now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful for you and I see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.